Hello, today I will show you how to use the object group add-on. It's super useful for easy selecting, for adding a group of objects, and um, there are a lot of features. So, let's see it. So, here is the list for the object group. The list works as the same way as the other list in Blender. On the right, there are the button to manage the list. By double clicking on the name, you can name the group. So, for example, let's create a group called Books. Then, I select all my books. And after, I press the async button. All my selected objects take part of my group. Now, let's see the use of the object group. By pressing select, all my objects in the group are selected. I can also deselect the object of the group by pressing deselect. When I click on the A, I can add in the viewpad the objects in the group without having to select them. The monitor and the camera button, like in the outliner, Disable the object in the viewport on the render. The chain button allows you to assign or remove online the active object. You can also use it to know if the active object is in the group. If the object takes part of the group, the chain is linked, else the chain is broken. When I press the padlock button, my group is locked. I can unlock it by pressing again the padlock. Locking a group our accidental asking or removing. So I can't add or remove an object if the group is locked. I can't also deleting the group. For this example, I'm trying to do a sample furniture filled with some basic shapes. My furniture have door. I need to add them for edit the indoor. So yeah, I add them. For my bot all I use booleans. So I use the display button here. So in my viewport, I can see all my objects. And if I need, I can change the depth of my cutter. But if I switch to the cycle display, we can see your um, object, your cutter. So I just add them. So now I see, see my bot. But if I need to adjust something, if I press Alt H, all my objects are no display. So I can't edit the interior. I need to select again my door. So that I can do is use object group add. So I can create a group called door. I select my door. I async them. No, I can display them or hide them. Something for my tutor. In my viewport, I see it. If I switch to cycle, I hurt them. And I can also disable them in the render. And if I switch to the viewport and I need to adjust my tutor, just do this, and it's good. A thing I can also do is select all my uh, furniture objects, so just this this. And I will uh, show my door for asking them to. An object can be in two groups. For example, my door are in the door group. But they are also in my furniture group. They can also be in a third group if I want. The object can take can take part of one, two, ten, eleven um, group. So this is very useful. I hope you like this video. You can donate this add-on for free on my girlfriend. If you want to see my next step, follow me.